Subscription Magazine and I'm here today with Charis of MBNF who will show us the Legacy Machine number 2. So, Charis, Legacy Machine number 2 is very very different from Legacy Machine number 1 yet <laughs> similar as well. Can you sort of give an overview? It's similar in the sense that it's part of the Legacy line. And unlike our horological machines like the Megawind I'm wearing right here, Legacy machines are about revisiting, reinterpreting some of those historic movements from a century or two ago. In other words, you could also say legacy machines are what MBNF might have done if we were around a century or two ago. Take the same team, Max and the rest of us, teleport us back 100 years, this is possibly what we could have done. Now you're right, legacy machine number one, the first in the series, was a certain type of machine. We'll get into, into that in a second. Legacy 2 is revisiting a different type of movement, a different interpretation, but they are definitely part of the same family. Mm. If, if you look at Legacy Machine 1 and Legacy Machine 2, you, you will see that there is a certain look, a family look, but Legacy Machine number 2 is very different. So you're, can you right. tell me a little bit about how different? You're right. I mean, they have the same case, round, round case, our only round case in the MBNF line for the moment. They do have certain common traits, uh, the small dials, pocket watch style and so on but they're almost opposites in terms of what they do in terms of movement. Legacy machine number one had a dual time zone with one big central balance, flying balance wheel. That was the big news, let's say, of the legacy line, that flying balance wheel. For legacy two, we've taken one time zone only, but we've added two balance wheels. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, they're almost opposites, and those two balance wheels are averaged out by a central differential. So the idea behind Legacy Machine Number Two, uh, I, I believe there was a Dufour watch that was uh, in yes. part of the history. So can you tell me a bit about that story? Sure, it's a, it's a nice story, in fact, because Max, uh, the head of MBNF, was uh, at a dinner, a collector's dinner, and this was well before MBNF, in fact, it was while he was managing Harry Winston. And at that dinner, he looked over to his neighbor, and that gentleman was wearing a beautiful watch, very classic watch. Max asked to see it, and it was, in fact, the duality by Philippe Dufour. When you turn over the duality, that happened at the dinner of course, Max suddenly saw that double balance wheel which Philippe had put for the first time into a wristwatch. Mm -hmm. And he was mesmerized by it. He said, wow, what a fantastic idea, what a beautiful movement. One day I have to come back to this idea, I have to revisit it, but in a much more visible way. I want to see those two balance wheels on the dial and not underneath. Okay. Jean has uh, resonance. Yes. Explain the difference. Big difference, and you're right, both have two balance wheels, of course, and both are equally interesting. Resonance, like for example what Joon does, is about um, the two balance wheels influencing each other by the phenomenon of resonance. So you approach the two balance wheels close enough so that they naturally resonate. They will, after a while, if you let them beat at their both own rates, they will actually synchronize after a while, without any direct contact. Just the fact that they're close enough and that they're beating at approximately the same rate, they will enter into resonance. So there's no mechanical connection, if you like, between the two. With Legacy 2 and the differential system, it's very different. You separate the balance wheels just enough so that they don't influence each other. So you're letting each balance wheel beat at its own rate. And then the differential in the center is taking care of making the average. So similar approaches, but in fact quite different. All right, so which is better then? Uh, I don't think there's one better than the other, honestly. It's, uh, it's, you know, you could debate forever. In the end, what we're interested in is the beauty of these mechanics. Right. And, you know, they both give interesting results. They both have advantages, disadvantages, but they're both beautiful machines. That's true. All right, then. So let's have a closer look at legacy machine number two, shall we? Sure. The first thing you probably notice is the two balance wheels. One at three o'clock, one at nine o'clock. As I said before, they're both beating at their own independent rate. It's very close, of course, but they're both totally independent. The second thing you might notice is this large wheel down at the bottom at 6 o'clock. That's the central differential. That's what's averaging out the speeds, the rates of those two separate balances. On top here at uh, 12 o'clock, of course, is the hour and minute dial. So that differential down below is bringing up an average rate to drive the hours and minutes. Flip it over, you'll see the very classic movement. Not only classic in terms of finishing, the Geneva waves, the gold chatons and so on, but also in terms of the, of the overall layout of the movement. The shapes of the bridges, the space you have between the bridges, that's very characteristic of the movements of 100, 200 years ago. 
The other thing you'll probably notice is the large sapphire crystal dome here. You don't notice it when you see the watch from the front, but look at it from the side and you'll see that it's pretty impressive. That sapphire crystal, and of course it's difficult to machine it with absolutely no distortion of, uh, of optics. Legacy machine number two, that's the platinum version, and the red gold version right here. So what are the quantities for gold? Red gold and white gold, which I don't have here, are not limited. We make very few, we make around 30 a year. And the limited edition platinum edition right here is 18 pieces, 1-8 only, 18 pieces. So thank you very much, uh, Charis, for showing us legacy machine number two. And uh, I am wondering what legacy <laughs> machine number three will look like because I seriously can't think of any yeah. idea that will top this one. <laughs> That's very nice of you. Thank you. All I can say is that legacy three will not have three balance wheels. <laughs> All right, then. Thank you. Welcome.